Hello fellow Rosarians, thank you for joining me. I have a new vendor to share with you. This is Cornhill Nurseries and they are located in Canada. What intrigued me initially about their site is not only a new vendor to look at, but if you look at their mission, their mission is not to use pesticides and herbicides, chemical fertilizers. I'm gonna pop that up here for you to see. It says that the the soil fertility is main, maintained by adding compost and mulches and crab and fish meals. Their philosophy is that soil health is the foundation of all human activity and should be cherished and protected. That really made me happy to buy from somebody with the same thoughts that I do about our environment and not using chemicals and fertilizers unless absolutely needed. It looks like if you go to their site, they have a couple of choices based on the variety of whether it's going to be grade one, uh, grade one and a half, and then they do have some that are three-year-old, which would be even larger than what they're grading their grade ones as. So customer service, I found that they were very receptive to my emails and working with me. Each time I reached out, I talked to Bob and he was very kind. So let's go ahead and open the box. The only thing noteworthy to mention as I'm unboxing for you to keep in mind is that there is no warranty um, because it's coming across the border. Although it has a certificate to get it through customs, uh, they're not sure how long it's gonna take. And so the risk is on you. But if that gives you concern, just make sure that you are watching our three month check-in and our six month check-in and hopefully that will give you more confidence to decide if you want to buy from this vendor. This uh, envelope here has all of the certificate information in it. That cost you $15 as part of the shipping process and I'll talk to you about that when we get into the pricing. So it is really securely packed here. I've got uh, straps around it to keep the whole box closed. Okay, what are we looking for when we unbox a bare root rose? I want these ba the bag to be completely enclosed so that it stays moisture shipment. You really don't want it to dry out. The cane's firm, the cane's bright green, maybe just starting to flush out buds a little bit. And then I'm going to take a look at the roots and make sure that the roots didn't dry out and that there's no indication of crown gall. And we would see that with some kind of growth on the roots. Off to a really good start. It's enclosed in a bag. What am I expecting here? I'm expecting four grade one roses. These are really bound nice and tight in here. Ah, we've got some um, paper in here, but that's better than I think having um, uh, poppers, you know, that are gonna fly all over the yard. Okay, I'm gonna feel the roots. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at these roots. Really nice long roots. They feel moist. I'm gonna put my hand here for you to see all the canes. Really nice long roots on this. I'm checking to see if there's any growths. There are not. Everything is firm and nice, nice and green. And I can see that it's starting to flush out here. Really exciting. All right, so this one is Charles de Mills and it's quartered, deep purple red, very fragrant and it is um, hardy down to zone four. Okay, this one here is Stanwell Perpetual. This is hardy down to zone 3B, and it's double soft pink, fading to white, and very fragrant. And you can see here, I've got a couple of canes that I will, um, Actually, I might be able to just coax them a little bit. I was thinking I was going to have to trim them, but um, we'll watch it and see how it does. But it's already flushing out, and you can see it's got a nice root structure here. Okay, two more. All right, this one is Raw Britter. And Raw Britter, I think, is a Cordes Rose, and that's why I picked this one. It's semi-double pink cupped and it has a peppery fragrance and it's hardy down to zone four. Well, look at this. It looks really happy. Do you see it's flushing out here? Um, it has a tip here that's flushing out and nice roots. So I'm really excited to have this rose. Okay, last one. This is Parfum de La Haye. It is a ragusa and it's double mauve and it repeats. And this is hardy down to zone four. 
and it is already trying to show me that it wants to flush out some leaves. Look at these pretty roots. Oh, and the roots are, you can see the, um, the white roots uh, pushing here. So these roses look great. I am so happy. They made it through customs. They made it through all of the travel time. I can't wait to get these in the ground and share them with you. So let's talk about the pricing. The roses were $25 a piece. And so I was charged for grade one roses, although only one of them is a grade one rose. The other ones are one and a half. For all of our vendors are saying, if I buy five roses from this vendor, what is the true cost with any discounts that I can find in shipping? So that in the event that these roses, so let's say Stanwell Perpetual is available from Cornhill and it's also available from, let's say Petals from the Past, a different vendor, you can do a true rack and style with the size, the quality, and the price and see who you'd like to buy from. So with that, five roses at $25 is going to be $125. The shipping is $40 and then you're charged $15 for this FITO certificate. And that is uh, that certificate is for it to come through the border. So plan on that extra 15 bucks for that. That brings us to $180 for the total cost from buying from this vendor. It's going to be shipped through USPS. For me, it arrived in a week. There's going to be no warranty, but I think that they've got excellent customer service. They were very responsive to phone calls and emails. So if we look at that total rack and stack now, Burp would still be the most cost effective at $88 and Cornhill is right there in the middle of the pack at $180. So thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one.